you are. So the first question, sir, we have for you is that. So you have worked in various domains, like you have worked in the IT industry, you have worked in the FMCG companies, and a lot of other sectors you have actually traversed into. So how do you exactly choose the kind of projects that you would want to move into, and how do you juggle between all of these domains? How have you like prepared yourself? It's interesting because always it's important to diversify your uh, professional career, and when you juggle between multiple domains, uh, what really happens is you got to keep your learning hat on all the time. important point that i would like to mention here is uh, connecting the dots right which is very critical irrespective of whatever domain you go in i think it's very important to connect the dots right and and thereby your learning actually compounds and you will be able to contribute well that's amazing and that's something you have you can actually live by now so when we have worked in corporate environments you know those have been extremely tense environments where the entire circulation has been focusing on revenue has been focusing on profits has been focusing on the corporate right but then again so you have worked in an argument which is something of a spiritual factor so how do you deal with both of those things together or how did you exactly delve into that particular to me um akimata happened by accident with the goal or uh, the objective for akimata is to serve the society right you know more than any spiritual goal when you serve people you see god right that's kind of the objective and um, i was interested to see how they serve the society so very early on in my career i uh, partnered with uh, swami bodhamayananda and this was way back in 2000 where uh, we conducted a lot of workshops for underprivileged uh, kids uh, people who are aspiring to get jobs and things like that so, so it slowly became a passion where you know you want to kind of share what you have and um, the best way to share is knowledge and it kind of uh, it kind of becomes very contagious so um, that is how my journey started with akimat and it was that's an amazing thing even if we are working on a daily basis on for our own lives for the corporations big corporations that are around us it's also important we give back to something to the society and that's exactly what sir has done we are in a b school and we have fresh graduates passing out every year and There is a sense of burnout in a lot of students. So you have made your way to the top. What would be your mantra? I would say the way to top uh, does not happen because you want to go to top. Right. The way to top happens because it's all these small things that you do along the way without thinking of the destination. So it's very important to enjoy the journey rather than uh, thinking about the destination. And you got to excel in whatever you do on a daily basis. rather than thinking that hey i need to become a ceo or i, I need to become a cro or a chro or a cfo or whatever um because at the end of the day if you do well on a daily basis and if you keep excellence as a habit i think like you will always uh, reach the top you have mentored a lot of companies you have actually brought those companies into the forefront of indian media and the indian market so how has been your experience in terms of mentoring those companies what was the first thing that you looked at when you looked at a company and how did you set your goals in terms of that each company is very different each ceo of a company is very different so what i typically do is to bring in an outside in view and facilitate uh, the thinking process and in that process we co-create jointly because i might not know all the answers that i need to contribute to but i might facilitate certain things where he or she might not have thought about it so you know uh, it's a joint uh, process of co-creation and that's very fascinating to me because you know um, you know i get to learn something new about a particular industry and uh, we co-create something so we understand that yes it's not exactly about mentoring we also will learn a lot when we actually are teaching someone which again goes back to the basic principle that yes we also have to give back something when we are getting something from someone and that is the basic harmonious process that we want to live by and now the final question for sir and that is basically based on something something of your lifestyle as well and you have had the good fortune of traveling to a lot of beautiful places a lot of beautiful countries so have you ever thought of settling down in a particular country based on the kind of work they are in the kind of culture they are in or the kind of leadership roles the kind of work environment that you would get in i would say japan um it's too bad that i don't know the language today but that's a country that i would definitely like to settle because of the the way things happen and and the way you know they are so deep rooted there um, so i would say after india it's japan